Okay, so for this one, we're going to be talking about United States customary units, which, as silly and sometimes even stupid that they may be, we use them every day in our, in our society. So we have to know how to convert between the systems. For length, we know that there's 12 inches in one foot. So for every foot, there are 12 inches. In every yard, there's three feet. For every 36 inches, there's one yard. That makes sense. For every three feet... There's one yard. So in every one yard, there's three feet. In every foot, there's 12 inches. Three times 12 is 36. This one is less commonly used, but it's kind of good to know. There are 1,760 yards in a mile, and there are and there are 5,280 feet in a mile because there is three feet for every yard. Three times 1,760 will be 5,280. These are kind of things that you'll probably never actually need to use, except for the inches to foot, foot to yard. That one's going to come up a lot. The feet in a mile, I've never had to use it in real life, but for some reason people seem to think we need to know it still. Anyway, going down to weight, this one you use fairly often. Um, there are 16 ounces in a pound. This is not to be confused with, with, with fluid ounces. That's down here. They are different. There are 16 ounces, weight ounces, in one pound. There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. So there's 16 in one, 2,000 in one. For liquids, there are eight fluid ounces in a cup, two cups in a pint, two pints in a quart, and four quarts in a gallon. The easy way to remember quart, quart, the, the Latin root for quart is quat, which is Four, quattro is the, is the Spanish for four. There are four quarts in a gallon, two pints in a quart, two cups in a pint, and eight ounces in a cup. These are all metrics of two, four, and eight. Anyway, so for your homework, we're trying to fill this out. This is just a, this is just a conversion sheet that goes back and forth between some things. So, it gives you a hint. There are 12 inches in one foot. For here, it wants to say how many inches are in two feet. If I know there's 12 inches in one foot and I have two feet, that's going to be 12 inches to one foot equals some amount of inches for two feet. In order to do that, I'm going to do my ratios. Like the way I get from one to two, multiply by two. So I got to do the same thing at top, multiply by two. I should get 24 inches. There are 24 inches in two feet. What about if I'm going from inches to feet? If I have 48 inches, how many feet do I have? Over here, I'll do my work. If I have up here, if I have 48 inches in some amount of feet, and I know that there's 12 inches in one foot I try to figure out how many feet I have in 48. So to get from 12 to 48, I multiply times some number. In this case, it's going to be 4. So whatever I do at the top, I have to do the bottom. 1 times 4 will be 4 feet. You can change the rest of these. I'm going to do one of these down here, letter I. This asks us to convert with some remainders. So, I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So I know, okay, 12 can go into 16 one time. So I have 16 divided by 12 is going to be 1. I have a remainder of 4. That's what this is asking for. It's asking for the remainder. So my 4 is going to be here. So I have 1 remainder 4. I have 1 foot and 4 inches left over. So 16 inches is 1 feet and 4 inches. Okay. On the back, we have a bunch of conversions we have to do. Up here, we have the same thing we were doing on the other side, just in table form. We have 72 inches. How many feet do we have? I can just quick hand this. I just divide 72 by 12. Now 12 can go into 72 six times. Six times two is 12. Six times one is one plus one is seven. I have six feet for 72 inches. I continue doing this. Going reverse, if I have three feet, 
I'm going to have 12 times 3 will be 36. I can do that there. Now, for the rest of these, you have to use your different conversions. For instance, here for the gallons and quarts. If I know there are four quarts in one gallon, I have to convert back and forth. If I have nine gallons, if I have one gallon equals four quarts, and I have nine gallons, what I'm basically doing is multiplying times nine. So I have to do times nine on top and the bottom. Four times nine will be 36 quarts. To go the other way, if I have eight quarts, I have to figure out how many gallons I have. If I have eight quarts, I want to find out how many gallons I have. I know there are four quarts in one gallon. So do this, I multiply this times two. So I have to do this times two as well, because the top and the bottom have to match. One times two will be two gallons. Do this for the whole sheet. Once you get the hang of it, it goes by really quickly. Hopefully this helped. Have a good one.